So you want to sell on TCG Player, but you're a bit intimidated. There's lots to consider how to ship, how to manage inventory, how to source inventory, the seller levels on TCG Player, all these other different features. But this series is where I'm going to help you to get good. So the very first thing you set up an account and you find out you're a level one seller and you find out there's all these restrictions on what you can do. So if you wanna sell a lot of cards like I do, you wanna progress up those seller levels as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to get through the first level as quickly as you can right now. When you first get your account set up, you'll get a page that looks like this and um, you'll see here seller level one, inventory total zero of 100 because you're only allowed to list up to 100 cards. Uh, and then the status is live. Um, you can change that to hidden if you'd like, but I would just leave it live so that you can sell as quickly as possible. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to go up here to my details and make sure everything's correct there and then go over here to shipping settings so that you can make sure that your shipping is set to as cheaply as possible across the board. So we'll go ahead and set that. You can see the acceptable ranges are listed over here. This will go down to free shipping as an option once you become a level four seller until then you are stuck with these minimum levels uh, and you'll have to price your cards price them accordingly that way so we'll click save and now it's saved and you can see it's been changed here um, we'll go back to home and then we'll want to list our first couple of cards that we have so so i've picked out a couple of cards that i think ought to sell pretty quickly a couple of Shocklands, a Panharmonicon, Commander Staple, and a Growing Rights of Itlamok from Ixalan. Remember, if you want more of this series or other content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here, or at least give me a like uh, if it's been helpful at all to you. And be sure to check out my Patreon for lots of other interesting stuff that's going on over there. So we'll go up here to inventory and just add these real quick. Growing rights. There it is. Regular Ixalan one. And we know this is near mint. We'll want to check the live prices, not just depend on this pricing here. Go to live prices. It'll take us to the page for this card. We'll see the price has been up and down just a little bit. Recent sales near been at $22. That's exciting. Market price is $19.59. Um, we have near mint sellers at $17.50 plus 99 cents. So that's a new seller like we are. So we should probably price pretty close to that. $16.50 plus $1.99 is an even newer seller. So that you have to take into account the total cost of all that, just like other places so this is really a listing for 1849 so if we wanted to be at the top of this list you know there's others you know here shipping included this is a, uh, a probably a level four seller they've got 1265 sales this is a moderately played one but that doesn't matter so much we're looking at the shipping here all combined their total price is 1889 so this is 1849 with the way the dynamic shipping works we have to make sure that our shipping added in doesn't end up causing the card to be priced way up here or even further uh, we can't just list it at 1850 because we're going to show 99 cents extra shipping so let's go back to that we'll go over here to 1749 you can see it's already got the shipping cost right here listed and we'll put one and then save and now our card is live let's do the next card panharmonicon not borderless or foil etch. This is an original non-foil Panharmonicon from Kaladesh. We'll click on live prices. We can see the price on it has come down quite a bit. It got recently reprinted as a list card and, and Modern Horizons and stuff. So it's come down quite a bit. But live prices for near mint copies, which this is also near mint. We can click on near mint over here to sort cheapest is seven dollars and we know we've got to add 99 cents shipping so we if we list at six dollars then we will be the cheapest on here six dollars one copy and save 
And now you can see up here too, we've got, we're up to one of 100 live. That's our growing rights. And the, the Panormonicon hasn't shown up yet. Steam vents. This is a steam vents from Guilds of Ravnica right here. View live prices. And the cheapest near mint is at $18.93, shipping included. Next is $18.99, shipping included. So if we put this at $17.99, we'll be right in here on this list. $17.99, one copy. Save. From Guilds of Ravnica, same thing. We'll just go ahead and look at the live prices. Near mint at 1125 plus 99 cents shipping. So if we did 1119, we'll be at the top of this list. Hopefully this will guarantee that we sell these cards relatively quickly. And there, look at us right there. Taco Charlie Golf BK, 1119 plus 99 cents shipping. We're at the top of the list there. So uh, the way the seller levels work, level one, this is where you start out at. Everybody starts out. You can list up to a hundred total items at any time. Um, this in includes multiples, so you can't list 500 copies of Steam Vents. There are 100 different cards, but 100 copies of each card. You can't list more than $1,000 total of, car of product at any time, and each product can't exceed $500. No one's going to want to buy from a, a newer seller at that level anyway, more than likely. Um, these bread and butter cards are much more likely to sell. You have to get two orders to at least six days after you confirm the shipment on the order, which is about when the expected delivery date usually is. Uh, and then your feedback has to be above 80%, which hopefully it is if on two orders. So you can see here uh, we've sold a couple of these cards and we're going to go ahead and get them shipped out. Uh, they sold the exact same day that uh, I listed them and I'm shipping them out today on July 28th. Um, getting them all packed up and ready to go. The shipping will be in another video, um, but we'll definitely do one on how to get started with shipping. Um, so six business days after today, 728, uh, we should get bumped up to level two because we'll have had two orders that made it to uh, the expected delivery date. It may be the following Monday after, I'm not sure. It'll either be 8-5 or 8-8 eight, eight, uh, when we hit level two status. And then we will do a get through levels two and three video from there.